We'll start with Adam and then Jimmy. I'm just curious, when you guys look at the Florida-Alabama film, what was your message to your team seeing how Florida ran the ball so well against that defense? Well, you know, obviously you had two really good football teams playing. Um, you know, it's going to be a, a major challenge. You know, obviously this is the uh, best offensive line that we faced, uh, it's the best group of running backs, best group of receivers, you know, quarterback. You know, it's a complete package. You know, so obviously, you know, we've got to uh, elevate you know, our level of play. And, uh, you know, we're in conference now. Uh, so it's, it's going to be much more intense. Uh, uh, it's going to require more strain. I mean, everybody's got to strain hard. Everybody's got to do a little extra things that it takes in preparation, be it film study, be it getting extra rest, be it be putting the right things in their bodies, all the little things that it takes to, to play at a high level. Roddy, two things. Number one, what has made your run defense so effective so far? Well, I think, you know, we got the kids, you know, they're playing hard. Uh, you know, they're playing for one another. Uh, we, we're playing vertically, you know, for the most part. We're trying to create knockback. Uh, you know, and just, you know, you got when you're getting 10 and, you know, 11 hats to the ball, you know, obviously you got an opportunity to be successful. Uh, but, you know, you know, we, 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 we have so much room for improvement when you sit there and you look at the film, you know, just playing with a, more of an edge, uh, just even improving our fundamentals with our hat placement, our hand placement, our pad level, you know, disengaging, tearing off blocks, just doing all the little things that it's going to take. You know, when you get in conference play, uh, you know, obviously you're not going to be better than anybody you line up against. So you got to make sure that you're fundamentally sound uh, so you have a chance to compete. And how much is Florida's run game impacted by the fact they've got two quarterbacks that are really good runners? Well, you know, obviously they're a two-headed monster. Uh, with Emory and the Richardson kid, you know, they're both very good. They're both uh, dynamic runners. Uh, actually, 15 may even be more dynamic, you know, as far as just pure elite speed. Uh, but, you know, Emory's a seasoned veteran, you know. Uh, you know, he's got three years in that system, so he totally understands what – what Mullen's trying to do. They do a great job with the Q power, the counter, the reads. Uh, you know, they, they, don't, they don't put them in situations uh, for them to, to beat them. You know what I'm saying? They, uh, they give them situations that are uh, conducive to them being successful, be it be the, you know, the RPOs off, of the, off the run. You know, then, all, then you throw in the quarterback run, which, you know, now they've got an extra guy that we can't account for with hats. So, you know, it's, it makes you, us have to make sure that we're being uh, really dialed in in detail to doing all the little things uh, correctly. Coach, uh, Byron Young made his, got his first game uh, last week. What did you think uh, in seeing Byron play and what, where can he kind of go from, from his first game? Uh, obviously, you know, you saw he was very rusty, um, you know, just, you know, Byron's a he's a he's an old guy, but he's a young football player. Uh, so you know, really, I think you know it, it hurt him, you know, not having those two games to really sharpen his skills and, and work on technique. Uh, but you know, you can tell that you know he has a presence. You can feel him in the game. Now he's got to get out there and work on the minute details and things that it's going to take for him to play at a high level in this conference. Coach, Matthew Butler's a guy that's been around for a long time, and it seems like he's really taken his game up a notch this year. Just what are you seeing from him and what's allowed him to play at the level he's playing at right now? You no, know, Matt's a guy that, you know, comes to work every day. Uh, you know, he, he holds on to every word you say. Uh, he, he wants to be good. You know, he tries to take the coaching and the teaching and try to apply it to his game. He doesn't take it personal which, you know, so many times these, these days, you know, so many guys take things personal uh, when you, all you're trying to do is just work on things to help them be better players. And uh, he's taking those things and he's going out there and applied it. Now, obviously, he, he's, he's still got a lot of room to, to improve. We all do, uh, you know, me as a coach included. Uh, so we got to all continue to, to elevate uh, ourselves and be willing to look in the mirror and, and take that, that, that self you know, evaluation and then critical evaluation from others and work on trying to get better. That's the name of the game is for us to get better and for us to win. 
Rodney, I think it's it's pretty clear that that the group still isn't where you want it to be. But compared to where it was when you arrived, you know, how how much has this group improved? Well, I think we're moving the needle uh, in the right direction. Uh, but you know, every week, you know, it's a new challenge. You know, and, and the, the challenge is, are we going to be better this week than we were last week? You know, and that's what we said when we started out on this journey uh, that we wanted to be better. Each day of practice, we wanted to get better. We, we wanted to see improvement. Each game, we wanted to see improvements and in in making strides to, to, to get to where we want to be. It's like climbing Mount Everest. We're not going to be there overnight. Uh, we know it's a process, but we've got to embrace the process. And, and, and you know, unfortunately, you know, now we're in conference play, we've got to accelerate the process. So, you know, we've got we to get better in a hurry. Ronnie, you guys have, uh, have really used a lot of guys in your D-line rotation to this point. With the elevated competition now with Florida, it, do, you, do you like that same numbers in terms of rotation? Does it pair down with competition? How do you move that moving forward? Well, I just think if you look at you know, my career, you know, I don't think I'm playing any more guys or any less guys than I play. You know, obviously, to play at a high level in this league, and you got to have depth. And, uh, the one thing about big men, if you ever let them give out a gas, there's no refueling them in the game. I mean, it's over. So you just supposed to get ready for the next week. So our, 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 our plan is to try to keep those guys from giving out a gas so we can play the fourth quarter like we played the first quarter. And, you know, you know obviously, you know, we can need to play the first quarter better so we can, you know, we, so we can get better in the fourth. But we got we to gotta keep fuel in the tank. There's no refueling them. If, they, if we let them gas out, then it's over. So, you know, just trying to develop that, that quality depth. And the only way they're going to get better, you know, is out there in game prep. You know, then, you know, practice is great, but they've got to be able to go out there and sharpen their blade out there in, in that, com that competitive field. Rodney, Rodney what did you see from Aubrey Solomon on Saturday? And he showed you enough to show that he can be a big part of the rotation going forward? Well, you know, like, you know, like, you know, like I shared with Aubrey, you know, you know, you know, Aubrey has, you know, hung in there, you know, and he's, he's making strides. Uh, you know, I'm proud of him for at least, you know, staying the course. You know, we obviously, he had a long ways to go. Uh, when we got here, a lot of things he needed to work on. And, uh, but, you know, he persevered, you know, put him on the scout team. He worked his way through it, kept a good attitude. And he's just showing that he wants to be a part of the program. I and mean, that's all we want from all of them. I mean, you know, we just want all of them to be, you know, good men, we want them to be successful in the game of football, and we want them to be successful in the game of life. And that's what we're trying to prepare him for. But, you know, I was proud of him, uh, the way he went out there and he got his opportunity on Saturday. He went out there and he showed up and he performed, and uh, he did a good job for us. So hopefully he'll be, he'll be consistent and he'll do the things that it, that it takes to be able to gain and earn more playing time. You know, that's something that's earned, it's not given. You know, so, so that's the thing that, you know, that's my message to them every day. You know, they earn it. You know, it's not a right. It's not a birthright. You know, just because they came to Tennessee, there's no guarantee you're going to play. You got to go out there every day. You got to work hard. You got to earn that right. Rodney, you mentioned a couple of different times it's different now that you're in, in SEC play. Obviously, you're a veteran of this league. How do you get your guys to understand Saturday's different than what the first three games were? Yeah, first thing they probably say I'm different. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, it's you know, it's you know, this is what you came to Tennessee for. Uh, you know, for moments like this. You know, you know, you you you, you wanted to play in, on this stage. You know, that's the, the beauty of this conference. You know, uh, there's no there's nothing like it other until you get to the NFL. You know, that mirrors the SEC. You know, you're getting to play against the best of the best. So you, you think you're good, you're going to get an opportunity to go out there and show and, and be revealed, you know. You know, uh, unfortunately on Saturday, you know, either you're going to be uh, a contender or a pretender, you know. And that's what, you know, we're going to be able to find out how close are we. You know, we talk about moving the needle. Uh, I think you will find out, you know, how much the needle has moved when you go against elite competition. And obviously, you know, Florida is elite. You know, they've got elite players, they've got elite coaches, they got elite schemes. Uh, you know, they do an outstanding job, and it's going to take our best. 
And uh, we can't go out there and we can't self-inflict wounds on ourselves and have an opportunity to go out there and be competitive and compete with guys like that. We've got to make sure that we play a clean game. We play with relentless effort. We play for one another. And we play for that T on the side of our helmet. It's about pride, you know. Rodney, are you pleased with the number of tackles for loss you've had? And, and also, where do you feel like you are with your pass rushing? Well, you know, obviously, you know, when you sit there and you look at the film, you see a lot of plays that you leave out there every game uh, that we leave on the field, missed tackles, missed sack opportunities, uh, you know, obviously rushing better, you know, getting to a half of a man, working more of an edge. You know, this week is going to be extremely challenging. And, you know, Florida's only given up two sacks. Uh, you know, obviously the ball comes out really, really quick. Uh, but, you know, same thing, you know, the, you know, you got the quarterback who's so elusive and with his feet, he's able to extend plays. Uh, so that's going to be a lot of stress. So, you know, we've just, we just got to, we got to keep straining. We got to strain harder and we got to be able to finish plays. You know, there's, there's many missed sack opportunities where we could have had sacks. There are many more TFL opportunities where we should have made the tackle instead of having missed tackles. You know, everything that, you know, we need to do that to clean up, you know, I think when you look at that film, there's a lot of stuff every week that we can do to get better. And, and that's been the message that, you know, let's try to stress to the guys. You know, I thought they may have thought, you know, last week I was spazzing out on the sideline, you know, in that game. But, you know, I just didn't think they played with, a, with an edge. You know, or in razor sharp, you know, it's just, you know, I don't want to just go through the motion. I mean, you know, I want to, I mean, we're trying to sharpen our blade every time we go out there. Our reputation's on the line. And that's what I try to tell them. When we walk on that field, our reputation's on the line. Thank you, Coach. All right. Thank you all.